Now, if you watch my channel, then you must know that Brian Choi, aka The Atom, is my favorite DC character of all times. He is a lovable goofball who can be serious when it calls to be so. Extremely intelligent and extremely creative with his abilities. And while I love the Arrowverse for the most part, I think Ryan Choi was very much wasted. As well, yes, he did become the Atom eventually. The way he got there was unseen. It happened off screen. And all of that just also was erased from ever even occurring. During Crisis on Infinite Earths, it was revealed that he was the Paragon of Humanity, and he was needed for the Paragons to defeat the anti monitor In that crossover, while he didn't do much, we did see the potential of the character, that he very much had a strong foundation. Yes, it might be a little weird that there was a regular guy just among these superheroes, however, in my opinion, it did work, and it made sense. Ryan and Ray would also work together, which implied the whole Ryan becoming the Adam eventually would occur. However, then Armageddon, the character, in my opinion, which was his final appearance in the Arrowverse overall, which seems to be coming to an end, his character was written very differently, which was intentional. However, now he seems to be sexist for some unknown reason, which I have a lot of problems with. It felt like character assassination. He also has an extremely weird rivalry with Alex Danvers for reasons. Now, yes, this also occurred during the 10 years in the future. So I don't know what happened in those 10 years, except for the fact that Chuck and Allegra had a one night stand. Chuck got blueberry muffins and coffee for Allegra. She ran for some unknown reason, blamed Chuck for it, pinned Alex against Chuck. Ryan, for some unknown reason, told Chuck to stay away from women in love entirely, which is just wow. However, we have no idea why it is that Alex and Ryan seem to have a very, like, hate type of friendship going on. Ryan in the future is also part of Team Flash and is the best friend of Chuck. Also, side question, why was Alex at their wedding? That being Iris and Earbards. I understand why Ryan was there. Not Ryan Choi, but Ryan Wilder. I understand why she was there because she's Iris' best friend. This Ryan is a part of Team Flash now. So that explains two of the three guest stars at the wedding. Alex, on the other hand, though, her being at the wedding was a little confusing, if you ask me at least. Anyways, back to Ryan Choi. Personally, I think this is a huge waste of the character. He does become the Atom, like I said, and he does show up in some battle against Damian Dark. However, very, very, very briefly as the Atom. In the suit, I have to admit, does look pretty good. However, we barely see it. And that was it for Ryan in the Arrowverse. This, in my opinion, was a huge, huge waste of the character. He very much could have been a new member of Team Flash in the present day, been a series regular, been a huge character on the show, or something to that degree. So it's so weird to me that the character, who is, in my opinion, an amazing character in the comics, was used on the show to be a sexist guy. <laughs> now, yes, he did learn his lesson towards the end of the episode that he appeared in. That being during Arm Armageddon. And then that got erased from ever occurring. Regardless, I feel like this is just a huge waste of a character that is such an amazing character. This also isn't a hate video against the Arrowverse, because like I said, I like the Arrowverse for the most part. However, what they did with Ryan was just something I wasn't a fan of. You could have added him to the Legends, if not the Flash show. The Legends need more members because they keep losing them. And more members who are actual comic book characters. That very much could have helped out by having Ryan Choi on the show. Or just at least somewhere, even Supergirl, which was still on during Crisis on Infinite Earths, not Armageddon though. I don't know, I'm just kind of salty over it because Ryan Choi is, like I said, my favorite superhero from DC. And to see him wasted like this in live action, for his live action debut, mind you, is very, very unfortunate. However, I will say this, the actor who plays him did, in my opinion, a pretty good job trying his best because it wasn't given exactly the best to work with. That being in Armageddon, like I said, I thought in Crisis he was a pretty good character and the build-up for what was going to come was, in my opinion, done well. Just the um, 
payoff being that he is a sexist superhero in 10 years just wasn't done well. And then never returned. Also, this isn't the only time a live-action version of Ryan Choi was wasted, either. The DCEU had one, and he never even became the Atom, so I suppose I shouldn't be complaining about this. However, that time around, it wasn't DC... Well, okay. That was more complicated because of behind-the-scenes type of stuff and scenes getting cut and all that kind of stuff. This time around, I don't think there's an excuse as to why the character couldn't have been bigger than he was. Anyways, like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.